Hello! This is the second short video in a series of five, which demonstrate how quickly and easily secure single sign-on for users of SAP GUI can be achieved, taking advantage of an existing Active Directory infrastructure for both authentication and encryption key management. To demonstrate the creation of a standard Kerberos key table, I am logged on to the server as root. I have already installed the Trustbroker Secure Client for Servers product. The Trustbroker Key Table Management Utility, KTUtil, creates a computer account object in Active Directory, generates a random 128 character password, and then generates encryption keys, which are stored in the key table, all with a single command. It's very secure and easy. The unique principal name I have specified includes the SAP system ID and the fully qualified hostname of the server. An administrator account and password is required to authenticate to the domain when creating the computer account object. The account and password are not stored or transmitted over the network and the credentials are only used once. After the key table is created, KTUtil checks that everything is working as expected. For example, it makes sure that the strongest encryption types will be used whenever possible, and that only encryption types supported by the domain are available. At Kirby Corporation, the domain is using Active Directory on Windows Server 2008 R2, so encryption types 3 and 1 DES, and 24 exportable RC4 are not supported. These entries are deleted to avoid any issues. Also, KTUtil detected that the AES encryption types, 18 and 17, were not supported by the domain for service tickets, so an attribute was modified and now AES is supported. From the KTUtil output, you can see there are three entries, one for each encryption type. That concludes the demonstration. Please be sure to watch the next video in this series to see how to configure SAP NetWeaver so it can use Trustbroker Secure Client to authenticate users. Thank you for watching.